Hi, this is Carol Mullaney. I am a Pittsburgh-based martial artist, and I wanted to take you on my journey through Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I have never tried Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu before. I've been researching it for years, and recently I just went to my first class, which was yesterday. So I've had a lot of anxiety about trying something new, and it's something I know nothing about. I really don't have a clue, but I felt very comfortable after I went to my first class and uh, rolled around on the mat. So I'll give you a couple tips so you're not as nervous going into your first class. So first of all, you'll definitely want to put your hair up and you put it up into a bun, a fairly high ponytail. You wrap your hair around and kind of put a couple of those elastic bands into your hair because you can't get your hair ripped out during class that so you do want to put it up so don't put it in a low ponytail in karate i always had it in a low ponytail and as you can see i have a lot of hair but so try to keep that hair protected do not use bobby pins do not use clips because that can hurt your partner and you will get your uniform for your first class which is good because it is used during techniques and it is a layer of protection so it's a fairly heavy weight uniform um, it'll protect your elbows and your shoulders but like I had said before you'll definitely want rash guard and rash guard is a light layer of clothing that you'll wear underneath and I actually have a black top with a higher collar so when people do chokes on you that they won't scratch you with their nails. You have that extra protection and you won't get mat rash as you're shrimping and being pushed around and thrown onto the mat. So that's another tip for you. You'll definitely want um, to wear some pants underneath your, your regular pants because here are the, the pants and you'll definitely want to watch a video of how to tie these if you've never tied them before because they have this kind of bizarre tie that it's like, what do I do with this? There's ties on the end, but you actually pull them to your waist and then you go through the front loops and you tie it in a bow that way. But do expect to get your pants push down so you'll want to wear another layer of clothing underneath the pants so yesterday I'm really glad I didn't wear the shorty shorts that I recommended I actually wore something it's like a clam digger or collot type tight spandex pants that went over my knees because that gives you another layer of protection on your knees because you do a lot of things on your knees you do a lot of things on your elbows so the more light layers of clothing that you have underneath the better but you're working out it's really hot so you don't want to do like a heavier clothing because the uniform is already completely heavy so that's another tip for you when you're going to class invest in some there's some less expensive types of clothing that you can buy on special you can go to whatever your big box brand store is and look and see what they have but just i wanted to talk to you real quick about the philosophy of martial arts in general and if you're trying something new especially like martial arts it can be very confusing it's a physical skill that you have no idea what the purpose is for especially if you have never done it before in Korean style karate we do something called a crossing when we do a block and I always thought what the heck is that supposed to be about you just kind of have to go to class you just have to show up and a lot of people get frustrated because they see even the UFC these people have been training for many many years and even people in your school the black belts have been training for three years typically in karate to 10 years 
in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So don't compare yourself to a higher belt. You just have to do your best and show up. Martial arts is something that the muscles take time and the body takes time to develop a certain musculature to do the certain techniques that you're learning. So this can be from anywhere from karate, it's kicking and balance, to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which is a lot of different technical aspects. And your body is not really sure what it's trying to accomplish in those beginning stages as a white belt and as an early belt. So you really just have to hang in there. So your body has time to develop these certain skills. It just takes time and it, it can take two to three months to two to three years to five to 10 years. You just have to show up. You have to hang in there. Don't get frustrated with yourself and keep on just showing up to class. So I am Carol Mullaney. I am very happy that you're here with me on my channel and through my journey of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I always recommend women go into martial arts. Just take a look at the class. There's typically women there and men. We're all here to help you. And I think it'll help with your self-esteem certainly has helped with mine and I will see you in the next YouTube video. I'm Carol C-A-R-O-L Mullaney M-U-L-L-A-N-E-Y. Look for me on Instagram and you and I can go through this journey together. Bye!